Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, welcome to the Business SIG annual meeting. I am Seth Cordes. I'm joined here with uh, Kim Warren, um, and uh, we're going to walk you through what we've done um, this past uh, this past year, uh, where our active initiatives uh, lie, and um, and what the, uh, the the future looks like. So, if you bear with me just for a moment, I'm going to uh, share out my screen, and we'll get started. Alrighty, so <clears throat> so why do we exist? The uh, the the purpose of the business special interest group um, is to better understand the market for systems dynamics, systems thinking in business, and to promote the wider adoption and uh, use of SD systems thinking um, and uh, systems dynamics to build a community and a shared knowledge base among practitioners. Um, to help create jobs um, and uh, for, for practitioners at, at, at all levels, from, from entry level to um, PhD level with a significant number of years of, of, um, of experience, um, to support champions, those within organizations who are looking to, to market or bring SD to, to their organization. And because oftentimes we, we can we can meet an individual who is willing to uh, who's interested in systems dynamics, but then in order for them to get the buy-in for, for, for to start a project like this, um, they need resources, they need support, and um, in order for them to become a champion and market it within their organization, we're looking to expand the active practitioner um, and society member base um, and uh, provide a communication channel for recognizing the achievements of practitioners across all, across all business sectors. So I'm gonna hand it over to, uh, to Kim here and uh, he's gonna talk through uh, case studies. Okay, uh, I trust everybody can hear me. Um, Seth, I'll uh, rely on you to check that that's the case. Yes, uh, sounds good. So the idea of the uh, case studies, if we just back off a little bit and think about what it is the society is trying to achieve, we're trying to achieve growth in the use of system dynamics in all kinds of fields. And uh, one of the most powerful ways of doing that, you'll find it in all kinds of other fields, is uh, for people to write up what they've done that's been successful. Uh, now this is distinct from and should not be confused with writing papers for conferences or writing papers for journals. Uh, that's not the point at all here. What we're looking for is, uh, well, the, the thing to have in mind is in, imagine you're a, a busy kind of senior leader person in some organization and uh, somebody uh, bought you a beer in a bar one evening and uh, told you how great the uh, use of system dynamics had been for their particular organization. So you think to yourself, oh, yeah, I wonder if anyone's done any system dynamics in my kind of world. Um, what, what do you want to find to help you answer that question? Well, what you want is you want something very short, and very clear, and very persuasive that says, you know, here's someone like me who had a similar issue to what I've got, and uh, they use system dynamics, and it didn't take long, it didn't cost very much, and it had substantial benefits for their organization. Oh, that's great. Uh, in that case, I will contact the person who uh, wrote about this uh, example, uh, and ask them if either they can help me, or they can point me to somebody else who can help me. So you're looking for something that, that 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 kind of person can get their head around in 10, 15 minutes. And uh, what that means is that the, the uh, case repository is uh, focused on I mean, essentially a, a, a kind of single screen summary of successful examples that, that were actually done. And uh, Seth, I don't know if you want to just put up, um, if you want to go to cases.systemdynamics.org and just sure. show people what the page looks like and we can just pick on one of those, those examples. Sure. Um, I don't know, so uh, let's, go to, uh, let's uh, go to the list of all cases maybe. 
and why don't we pick the uh, I don't know um, how about the data center capacity planning one down there uh, 046 I think it is okay so there you go there's a little video um, explaining what was done and if you just scroll down you'll see uh, the issue that was addressed um, what the person doing the work actually did and what the results were and then there's some related things uh, we, we encourage well we, we actually require access and links to uh, simple short papers or simple short presentations or simple short uh, videos so there is literally a one page uh, submission um, page for you to just fill in your the, the details and it is not asking for any more than that. that that's all we ask for for any of these cases um, and uh, those are then available for anybody in the in the world in a big wide world out there who might be interested in the kind of issues that the case looked at or the kind of industry situation or the functional challenges that that people are interested in uh, to go and uh, go and see what other people have done with system dynamics in those kinds of situations. So just switch back to the, uh, the, the slide there, uh, Seth. Uh, that's what it's about. So as it says here, it's demonstrating the breadth and scale of, of SD use. And the case repository do, does range from absolutely huge things like the climate interactive stuff that from John Sturman and, and co right down to very small organizations doing very small and simple things but making a, a significant uh, difference um i can't remember seth if there's another slide to follow this or yeah uh that's right yeah so yeah for, from your point of view as somebody working in in uh, the business domain kind of what's in it for you well it, it's a it's essentially a kind of free marketing platform uh, you can tell the big wide world about the fantastic work that you've uh, done and um, that also allows you to connect with other people who might have similar interests and, and capabilities. Um, we've tried to make it as simple as possible and quick as possible for anyone to put things into the system and very simple for people to get information out of it. Uh, for people who are practitioners, it can be a, a lonely world out there for kind of do it yourself or go it alone um, consultants or, or isolated practitioners in, in companies. Uh, it's a resource to uh, uh, keep them uh, uh, interested and, and motivated. And for anyone coming new to our field, it gives them good examples of the, the kinds of stuff that people uh, do. And uh, I did say at, at the beginning of this that it's very important to understand that this is not academic papers, it is not conference papers. It is highly accessible, digestible, easy managerial summaries of uh, what people have uh, usefully done. Uh, and uh, that means that we're, we're, it is intended to reach outside of, of academia, very, very uh, uh, seriously so. Um, so yeah, I think uh, the on what's being done here, reworking the website. Uh, we, we have a, a great um, uh, person looking after this, Babak Bahadin, who, who is uh, very good. He's made some, some good improvements to the website. In, in case um, people listening to this aren't aware of this, there's a substantial change taking place at the society over the next 12 months, which is that the administration is moving from the um, University at Albany to a professional, uh, sorry, that's not, not to imply that, that Albany has not been professional. Uh, what, I, what I mean is a, a dedicated, large-scale, professional society administration company. Uh, they, they happen to actually be based in Albany, but they've got no connection with the, with the university. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what their name is. Seth, do you remember? It is not coming to me. Um, um, I can't, can't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, the, what these guys do, that I think they look after 20 to 30 other professional uh, societies already, and they do all of the stuff that um, uh, Roberta and the team at Albany have done uh, for many years, uh, but they have um, additional resources, they've got large numbers of staff, they've got great expertise, and the kinds of things that they can do is 
provide um, common and uh, very reliable administration services for things like interest groups and uh, chapters. So over the coming 12 months, the, there, there will begin to be more uh, support for, for well, for, for things like this, this uh, case repository and for things like um, administering and, and running and uh, marketing interest groups and chapters. Uh, so, um, any more I need to say, Seth? No, I think I think that's about uh, I think that's about it. Um, we'll the next slide here. All right. So, and, and um, a, a sister product to cases is is our success stories. Now, these are these are a small uh, these these are a small collection right now of short two to three page marketing articles. They're designed to to stand on their own. Something that you could put in a um, Oh, uh, Elliot has uh, has responded back that it is uh, Capitol Hill Management Services, um, awesome. as the organization. Awesome. Thanks, Elliot. <laughs> um, and uh, so, um, success stories. So these are uh, and, uh, and following uh, Kim's example, I'm going to bring it up here on the pay on the uh, on the screen. So it is found at uh, stories.systemsdynamics.org, and it is a we've we've taken to focus on a, a couple, uh, a handful of, of, of these well-reviewed um, well and um, a, a stories where there was a, a defined problem, um, uh, uh, the way that systems dynamics was applied and, and the result that, uh, that occurred um, and, and, the, and the benefit of, 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 of taking this time and rigor to, to, to study the problem you know, uh, scientifically and carefully and rigorously. Um, these are not academic papers. Again, these are designed for problem owners um, something that you could share with a um, with with a parent or relative who wonders, you know, what do I do? You know, what what am I as a practitioner, systems dynamics practitioner? What do I do? How does it how does it uh, um, how, how does it affect the world? These these are examples of how systems dynamics has been applied in in a in a way that's digestible with 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 no previous understanding of uh, of the the discipline. Um, and and showcases some of the benefits that have been uh, that have been achieved. Um, so we, we in, encourage you to to use these resources um, in, in your marketing. Feel free to share the links um, and the, uh, the the materials. We're going to be adding stuff um, to these. We had uh, during the conference um, there was uh, th there was some follow up to at least uh, one of the articles that was um, that that we're going to add um, once that that, that content uh, um, is, is approved for dissemination. Um, and we intend to add additional cases. Um, to to this repository and, and, and keep it a living uh, a living resource. Um, so, as you can see, the site was launched in 2016. Um, we have those additional those um, those those six cases. Um, we are working on a handful of others, um, and basically, we, we've already talked about the, the the practitioners and students. They they can share these articles, um, but also practitioners themselves. Um, you you receive leads. Um, from from this work, this is again free publicity that others are sharing your work uh, on um, and professionally produced um, and uh, hopefully to gain you know broader market acceptance and, and adoption of, of the technique and the technology. Um, champions again within the organization they gain the marketing materials that they need to sell systems dynamics internally. Again, something that we can put as an attachment to an email and say, you know, it, it may not be correct, you know, right on point with the problem that that organization is is experiencing, but it's close enough that people can make the logical leap. Um, separately, volunteer authors and editors, the systems dynamics, uh, the, the the business SIG community, especially students, um, can grow their professional network and get an opportunity to demonstrate their cap capabilities to practitioners as they prepare these cases and make them ready for, for, for publication. This gives you an opportunity to, to meet some of these um, you know, well-regarded practitioners in the field. Um, authors and editors, translators, um, those, those who work and support these products, they all receive byline attribution. So if you're interested in, in making um, uh, translating a case um, for your particular region of, uh, of the globe, um, please let us know. We'd be we'd be happy to have uh, have you do so and to to support the effort and 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 find a way to add uh, to 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 make this uh, the 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 barrier to adoption as as low as uh, as low as possible. Um, so what do we provide? The business sig we provide 
um, writers, editors, graphic artists, translators, those who have volunteered those services, um, and we provide a, a central um, central repository of articles. You as the practitioner, if you want to put some of your work, um, have your work pre, um, featured, uh, we need to know the project details. Again, the challenge, why SD was chosen, what's the major insight, and importantly, quantified results. Um, It'd be great if we could get one or one or more quotes from the client um, themselves, and obviously we need final approval of the finished product. Um, permission to use the client logo in the article and on the list of SD consumers is optional, but really important because logos, um, well, well, they're they're shorthand, they're a thumbnail for 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 support, and um, again, people in complex uh, situations, they often um, look to these rules of thumb in, in order to, to gauge the veracity of, of, of what you're offering. And logos are, are nice to have, especially when the, the brands are household brands that people recognize. Um, again, we've published six. We've got six in production, and we have another 10 in the mill. Um, we have cross-posting agreements in place with, with both um, with, with the leverage networks um, who had done some, some work in the, in the past in this area and was a key contributor to this effort. Um, we have agreements in place with IC systems, with AnyLogic and, and Ventana systems. So we need help, though. Um, to One, everybody can do this. Distribute the content. Build awareness. Um, for for the product, use it. Um, it. It's there. I can't tell you how many times I've shared um, pieces of of this content with my prospective clients, um, and it's it's proved a, a very valuable resource to me personally. Um, make suggestions. Um, again, we need uh, we need suggestions of cases to feature. Um, this could be your own work or projects that you're aware of. Um, we're looking to showcase work from around the world. Um, Write up a story. Um, we need to, we need volunteer authors. It's an opportunity again to network, to demonstrate your skills and your ability to take um, the, the the this this language of systems dynamics and make it approachable um, to people with little or no experience. Um, we could have we we need help with those uh, who are willing to review an article or story in development, um, and uh, we also need help uh, with, with translators. Also critically important. Um, said, yes, sir. Um, it's just worth uh, commenting, perhaps, that uh, the, the 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 easy entry is to submit a, a case summary to the repository. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. And then, uh, if that looks promising, then, then you've got a good platform to go on and write up a, a slightly more upscale and, and professionally produced uh, success story uh, thing to be distributed. So, uh, the, these are complementary um, initiatives, I think. Exactly. Exactly. The the where the where cases is is breadth and scale, um, uh, success stories is 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 narrow, focused, and and and, uh, and polished, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and consistent from case to case. Um, so thank you. That that is a very good that a very good suggestion. Um, and uh, so next on the list here, uh, the webinar series. Um, so we've got um, we we've done. I think uh, we've done four episodes so far of the webinar series, and uh, and where we we feature the work of uh, again uh, practitioners within, within the field, and focusing on um, applications of systems dynamics in business and related fields. So we've done we've done some work in in, in entrepreneurship. Uh, Kim has, has graciously uh, uh, presented a couple of times. Uh, we've done work in, um, in, in 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 biology as well. And we've done uh, we, we've done a, um, a presentation on on lean methods, so a, a, a variety of uh, a, a variety of subject areas. Um, and the the only key th key thread here is, is is we'd like to have some some sort of a a, a, a business application or business focus or you know something that would be interested to to those w within the business community. Um, and we do offer um, live Q and A during those sessions. So oftentimes it's a presentation and um, a Q and A session that follows, and the discussion is is is, is usually pretty pretty interesting and, and engaging. Um, and you're welcome to join. Just to, and we use the, the their very same platform that we're using here today, YouTube Live with Hangouts on Air, um, and you're you're able to um, to make suggestions and and the like, um, and and ask questions and and, uh, and such. Um, all right, we've got uh, a uh, actually, Kim. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you. I, I hadn't done this before. Um, the uh, link to the chat window as well that we have people posting posting comments. So let me. Um, okay. 
that should be in, uh, in in group chat there at the last link. So if you want to keep an eye on those, um, um, Christina Weil um, had had asked uh, how are these how are these uh, these webinar series promoted? So these go up on um, on the uh, BSIG's YouTube channel for one. So subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, as they all say, um, and, uh, and you'll get notice uh, immediately as we produce one. Um, they go up on the um, on the LinkedIn group um, as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll send out notices uh, about. Uh, we try to do about two weeks in advance and leading up to. So there's a, a cadence of you know a two week notice, uh, one week, and then the next day, and then going live so that uh, people can, uh, can 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 join in. Um, let me know. We did something different for for today's meeting in that um, I put a a meeting invite out. Um, it let me know if that was helpful, if that was annoying. Um, <laughs> I imagine we're we're getting uh, something of a biased uh, biased view from those who uh, who who are on the live stream um, because they're obviously here. And uh, but um, just a general question to the business saying, please do let us know. Um, we also we also do put it out on Twitter. Um, and uh, both um, my own Twitter feed, uh, Rafat Zaini, has, uh, he's got a great following. Um, he puts it out, usually gets a, a good bit of interest on that. Um, and uh, we are also um, put the, the notices out on the, society, um, the society's Twitter feed. So we try to, to, we try to hit you know, m multiple platforms. I'll put it out on my LinkedIn page, um, where I've got uh, most of my LinkedIn followers have some business bent. Um, and obviously, it goes out to the BSIG email group. Um, so those those are the main channels um, that we that we use to to broadcast the webinar. We usually get um, a, a good chunk of live viewers, enough for a, a lively question and answer, um, and then um, we've got uh, some of our content. Actually, let me let me let me pull it up here. Um, so talking again abstractly about something that exists in the physical world. Um, so YouTube.com, and you don't have to remember the fancy link. Um, just search for business. Um, SIG, and we're the first hit, and you can see we've got a few videos. You can see, hey, the, the, we're live right now, um, and uh, this is where all these live events will uh, will, will will show up. Um, we've got uh, we've we've got some 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 really good content in there. Um, if you haven't seen it already, please do take a look. Um, and again, um, the, one of the very cool things that I really like about YouTube here, I'm going to start Kim's video here. I'll, I'll pause it. You can actually jump into the content. Say you found something here, like with the you, you've got a client with the ballast water treatment systems, uh, where where or not client them them as the client, but you've got someone who might be interested in something um, either directly related to that field or um, you know uh, uh, close enough that people can make the logical leap, but you don't want to show them the whole the whole content. There's a way with it within YouTube. So if you go down to the share here, you can actually tell it to give you the link to that point in the content. So if I were to share that particular link, it would jump to minute 20, 57 seconds. Um, and you can use that to direct people right into the middle of content to say, hey, this I think this might be interesting to you. And we encourage you to uh, to share in, in, in this manner. Again, these are publicly available. Um, feel free to dis distribute, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, we we do follow the comments on um, down below the videos, so so please feel free to engage with us with us uh, through an, any of the means that I've described thus far. Um, all right, so why do we do it? Obviously, um, it, it, uh, it's a showcase that can be easily shared with interested decision makers. Um, live demonstrations of a model are often easier to digest. Um, than a, a printed prose description. Uh, it, I think in some cases, an order of magnitude easier to to adjust, uh, to um, to to ingest rather. And uh, practitioners themselves they gain exposure, so it, it benefits um, it benefits the, the community overall. Um, so ways you can help. Obviously, join us live and engage in the conversation. That'd be fantastic. Subscribe to the channel. Um, link is there. Obviously, I showed you how to find it. Um, share past episodes and also suggest topics. Um, again, either work on your own or someone you may know. Um, we, we follow the logical progression of um, if we've got a, you know, a, a, a case for it and we've got a success story for it, um, it's much more likely that we're going to do a webinar series on it, again, as follow-on so people can see the, uh, you know, the, 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 the light touch, the more detail, and then the, the, you know, the full walkthrough. Um, with uh, you know a face-to-face -face with the original uh, with with the original practitioner, um, 
All right, so other things we're working on. Um, a case competition headed up by, by Matthew Bigman, um, looking for a, a kind of a recurring hackathon type competition where a, a sponsor presents a problem, a challenge, an opportunity, and small teams of students or recent graduates um, analyze, prepare, and present um, a, a model informed solution to that challenge. Um, teams would be judged on a variety of factors, including you know fit with the need, the uh, the uh, fit with the, um, the how how the model is organized and validated, and how how they communicate. You know, are they communicating effectively um, the 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 insights that are that are model driven and, uh, and and exposed, and what are the viability of the recommendations? Um, we're still working on on prizes. Uh, we've got a number of ideas. If you're interested in, in collaborating, please do let us know. We're taking volunteers for this effort. Um, why do this? Um, well, there's a potential for new insights, both for the, the, the problem owner um, and, and as well as the, as the student. We provide them, uh, and the recent graduate, this, this provides them an opportunity of saying something concrete, um, another example um, of something concrete that they can point to in conversations of, oh yeah, I did work on this and the insight was this, and that's really cool. Um, and, 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 and it gives them, again, another, uh, another piece of uh, information that they can share with those, those, those people in conversation that, that might be um, better tuned to the interests of the, whoever they're talking to. Um, students and uh, recent graduates, again, they, they get the opportunity to demonstrate their capabilities, and it opens the door for, for follow-on work. Um, so. We're, what, where are we? Um, we've, we've written a draft. We have a, a work plan in place. We're working to coordinate with the society. Um, moving forward, we're looking for a sponsor, a case, and then um, obviously to, to execute on this, this competition. The, the, the cadence we haven't set out yet, it'll depend a, a largely on how, how difficult it is to arrange all these pieces. And we don't have a, 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 a set go live date just yet because again, we're working with, with volunteer labor. And we want to make sure that this is that something that that is sustainable and not something that uh, requires you know heroic effort in order to accomplish and then can't be accomplished again because we burnt through the uh, the available um, capacity of uh, of our volunteers. Um, next thing, the the systems dynamics exchange. Uh, we've we've talked about this for for a few years. It is a a, a lofty goal and something that um, that I'd really like to see uh, uh, take uh, take shape. Um, the interesting, the interesting wrinkle is now that we've uh, we've we've we're in the process of transitioning. The society is in the process of transitioning to um, uh, external management. Uh, they bring along a number of these features, so we're hoping to um, get uh, early access or um, meet with individuals who are who are responsible for the deployment of these uh, of this technology and technique um, to understand where's the overlap. You know, how can we interface best with this such that we um, th that we're applying our efforts as um, as efficiently as possible and as consistently as possible. Now you've seen, um, for example, the, our, our, the Google group that we've, that we've created for the business sake. It, it comes under my organization, under Uncommon Catalyst. Um, we'd like to see that obviously be folded into these, uh, come under the systems dynamics um, dot org um, uh, domain. Uh, again, it, uh, less confusion and again, a consistency of message and all these little things add up um, as, as we're working to, to create a, a brand image. Um, and uh, we want to make sure that we're as, as, as that we ring as true as possible um, to that, to the brand and uh, to, uh, to systems dynamics, systems thinking uh, as a whole. Um, so I won't go into a great amount of detail on here on wh what the objectives are. You can, you can read through this. These, the presentation will be available um, post-fact. It's also um, discussed in, in some detail on uh, the society on uh, the business SIGS um, website, which is um, sigs.systemsdynamics.org slash business. You can come here and read a bit more in detail. Um, a great resource to, to share with other practitioners who may or may not be aware of what the business SIG is doing. Um, and we post, this is another place where we post uh, notices of, uh, of events. So if you're wondering, you know, what's the, what's the latest and greatest and, and, uh, and you, you, you're not sure that you're, you, you got the email or what have you, um, this is a, we'll always post uh, our announcements here in the news section and kind of roll them off the, uh, as they get a little stale. Um, but it does have a, a significant uh, description of the current initiatives, what's in the pipeline, and, uh, and more information about the SIG in general. So um, I'm going to jump through that.
And so uh, next thing, we, we want to encourage conference participation. Um, so we're and get, get systems dynamics practitioners presenting, um, sharing their work, attending other conferences um, where there's a, a high likelihood of, 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 of interacting with problem owners, um, people in related fields. Uh, we've got a few candidates here um, that, that that we're keeping track of that are that are good uh, that are good candidates, and we're in some instances we're we're, we're looking to um, in, engage in more visible support um, where if we can send a delegation or um, or, or the like um, that would be that would be ideal. Um, so. Um, and the general the general idea here is extend the, the visibility of systems dynamics get get the work shared to other organizations who may not be who may not be aware of the approach and you know the the the, the benefits that, that that we've seen from its application seth can i just uh, contribute a, a comment please here? jump in anytime the uh, you, you listed there mostly what look like or related and, and kind of systems uh, science oriented uh, conferences and the, the the if we want to reach out to practitioners uh, we, we need to find which of these conferences actually get practitioners to them and uh, I, I believe informs does um, I believe the winter sim conference does I, I don't know about the others yeah. uh, the the, the other point to just mention though is that if, if we think about what system dynamics is related to clearly um, many people in the OR field regard it as just a, a, a tool in the OR uh, tool set now whether they're right to do that or not is a, another matter but that that is how how it's seen um, but the other huge and hugely successful community that is uh, significantly interested in system dynamics is the systems engineering uh, profession. Mm -hmm. So uh, over the past two or three years, I've come across a number of uh, systems engineering degree programs that include substantial system dynamics training uh, in their curricula. And uh, like uh, Infos, well, actually even more than some of these OR conferences, the systems engineering conferences they're, they're usually headed by an organization called INCOSE i n c o s e uh, the international council on systems engineering they have a very very strong practitioner uh, orientation they have you know large corporations and large uh, government institutions on their uh, steering committees they set uh, professional standards in their field and uh, so on. So if anyone can get into a systems engineering conference with system dynamics stuff, I think you'll be pushing at an open door. I really do. Mm -hmm. um, I've taken a look at their body of knowledge and it's very broad uh, and very um, uh, uh, very wide ranging in its uh, in its scope. So it, it goes everything from the very softest of systems approaches uh, up to uh, system dynamics, and um, uh, I think I think there is quite an appetite from uh, from that community to to hear from us. And as I say, you, you should find if you do, you you should find that you uh, meet an awful lot of practitioners at those conferences. So I, I'm going to that conference in the UK in November, and I'll I'll look out for others I can afford to get to. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I I, I also have run into. Um, to individuals within that field um, who were doing some of the same, uh, one in particular was doing um, research on opioid epidemic in the US um, and they were using um, uh, continuous modeling but they were using Excel um, as, as their underlying tool set um, and for, right. for a variety of reasons. Um, and uh, yeah, I was, I was kind of surprised to, to, to see the, the application of the technique um, and, uh, and working, wor working with the individual to kind of share some of, uh, some of the best practices that we've run across um, in, in our side. So no, I, I can echo that. Um, so Christina Weil asks, um, for, for conferences, uh, have we considered collaboration with professors who are incentivized to publish as co-authors um, and for, for conference ideas? Um, I haven't thought through the the, the incentive structure. 
Um, it's mostly been a, been a, a plea for an engagement and to, to let us know, actually, um, if you're attending one of these conferences and what the conferences that, that, that you attend and find useful. Um, so information gathering there. Um, and, and as we find, um, you know, high, highly likely um, or, or conferences where we'll, we'll both run into practitioners um, and, and as well, uh, problem owners. I think that's, that's something that the, the ISDC is, is somewhat, there are some problem owners who attend, but not a lot. Um, and if, if we're interested in, in reaching out to the, 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 the people who have the challenges, the opportunities that we're, that we're looking to address, uh, we, we, need, uh, we need another, another ground um, to add to the collection. Um, but I haven't, I have not thought, um, as far as, uh, incentivize, uh, in incentives. So if you have suggestions on how that, uh, how that might play out or, or things that worked, have worked, um, to your knowledge in the past, please do, do let us know. Um, all right. So it's quite common for, uh, professors to have, um, responsibility for putting, uh, streams of contributions together for conferences like, like this. Uh, and some of, some of our own professors are, are asked to do that. So I've been asked to put a paper into an OR conference in, in the UK as part of a, a stream being organized by a professor over here. Um, so yeah, Christine is exactly right. If we can find those folk um, and reach out to them, that would be good. Excellent, Excellent. cool. Um, all right, so next, speaking of conferences. So at, uh, at uh, the ISTC, um, last month, we were able to capture a significant chunk of video. Um, so a special thanks to, um, to, to Marta Santos, uh, Jamie, Santo, uh, Jamie Malhewish, and, uh, and uh, Lynn Zell um, for their, their, their heroic efforts to capture the video. Um, uh, my organization, Uncommon Catalyst, we, we, we sponsored the effort and provided the equipment and uh, ran the cameras as well. Um, we were able to capture all of the plenaries. Um, for multiple vantage points, uh, we have nearly all of the parallels. There were a few that uh, that declined, and a few that were you know suffered technical difficulties. Um, but we got a lot of content, a lot more than we set out to to capture. Um, it was very well very well received by the presenters. Uh, we even captured uh, kind of on the fly some posters, um, did some uh, on the floor interviews, um, and uh, we spoke with uh, with uh, a modeler at the Model Expo as well, and and. Uh, got a uh, something of a, a walkthrough of the model live on camera um all told about two terabytes worth of video um to produce and this isn't 4k video this is 1080p and and, and in some cases 720p so a lot of hours of content um enough to keep us busy um for several months in terms of uh, the the production schedule so you'll see that come up on the society's uh the society's YouTube channel. So we encourage you um, to, 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 to seek that out. Um, the link is on the society's homepage and I'll show you right now, right where you can find it. So if you go to systemsdynamics.org and you click their YouTube channel right over here, it'll jump you right to it. Um, there are, uh, actually uh, they, they were shooting video there as well. This is Systems Dynamics Society was, and they interviewed um, uh, individuals and how Systems Dynamics has, has affected their lives and the like. Some very good conversations. I've I've watched a couple of them. Um, definitely worth a watch. Um, and I encourage you to 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 spend a you know, half hour or so, um, kind of uh, kind of poking through those. Um, very interesting uh, um, to to see how others in in, in our field have have come to, uh, uh, to 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 use systems dynamics and the stories that uh, that they share. Um, all right. So back to the list. When so when will it go live? Um, so we will release it serially over the next several months. It's obviously gated by by volunteer effort um, and uh, and you know how much time we, we have to to put to the project. Um, we're going to try and do a, a balance of parallels and plenaries. Um, the, 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 the plenary discussion, since it is multicam footage, it takes a lot more to produce. Um, the, the production values are a lot higher, uh, but it takes more time. The, uh, the, the the parallels themselves were a single camera and uh, the, the the presentation itself, so those are a lot easier to stitch together. Um, we can use additional help if you have interest, if you have experience um, uh, editing, um, or even just from the administrative side, gathering gathering the final presentations. Um, we we need that content, um, and uh, it, it's it's helpful to have someone who's willing to manage an email address and and to reach out to these uh, these practitioners and. Um, we, we have a system in place via Google Drive uh, where we've captured most of the presentation, uh, the, 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 present, the permissions forms, 
and uh, we know who the individuals are. We know where their, their, their content is. We have folders created. So there's a lot of logistical uh, underpinnings that have been uh, set and well established. Um, so if you're interested in, in participating, please do let us know. Um, we, have, uh, we have four people who have stepped up to, uh, to, to, to help with editing and production. And um, the order of production will follow the survey response. So we sent out a survey um, just prior to the conference um, through the, 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 the multiple channels and kind of pulled the audience on what do you want to see? What do you want to see first? And the nice part about that is now we have a ranking. And if we can use that as one of the inputs to you know, how, how we produce those. And we try to produce the, the content people are most interested in first. Um, all right, so next, the strategic planning model. Um, we are uh, actually, Kim, since uh, you, you've taken the lead, would you mind, uh, would you mind speaking to, to where we are with that? Um, I, I, I know we were, we're, we're, we're looking for data, I think is the, the main takeaway, but please, um, if you don't mind me putting, on, putting you on the spot. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, basically, nothing's happened on this for about two years now. Um, what we have is a very basic um, outline. It, it, it's a kind of uh, semi model rather than a than a proper model. Um, it does uh, the the background to it is that we went out in two thousand and twelve thirteen and we consulted with experienced people in the field uh, from various of our stakeholder groups. Uh, so that's practitioners and academics and um, uh, the software providers and others. And what we asked them was, um, what is your understanding of how the field has grown from 2005 to 2012? And what do you think are reasonable aspirations for the field by 2020? So um, a lot of those are, you know, in our language, stocks like Kind of how many programs are being taught, how many practitioners are out there, how many publications, how many, uh, um, uh, yeah, how many, how many uh, academic publications are there out there and how many of this and how many of that. And uh, the, that was used as the basis for informing the society's strategy that was approved in 2013. So we've got a pretty good idea of, of how the system should work. And the, uh, the 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 less functioning parts of it that really need to work a lot better are the engagement of practitioners and the public and the publicising and marketing of uh, the successes that have been had with system dynamics in in the real world. The assumption at the time was that the academic part of the model was working fine. Uh, we, we do have professors teaching programs, teaching PhDs who go on to become professors and publish articles in journals which get cited and bring more people interested in the field. Um, we had another quick look at this. Uh, George Richardson did a, um, a, a more focused uh, version of a model um, which, which didn't attempt to have uh, m much of the uh, society's own, uh, or, or so didn't attempt to have much of the system dynamics field's own actual data in it, but it illustrated how a how an academic stroke uh, practice field should grow, and uh, um, it, I think we are at the same place we were in in two thousand and thirteen that those not functioning parts of the field are still not functioning. Um, so it's down to us uh, all to get out there and, and beat the bushes and, and get publicity happening. Uh, one uh, issue that, um, I don't know if uh, Elliot is still on the, on the call, um, but uh, one of the things that's quite encouraging about the Capitol Hill management is that they have significant experience, I think, uh, in helping societies promote themselves. Uh, that would be a, a very useful thing for, for us to be able to tap into if they do have that uh, capability. All right, cool, thank you. Um, so that, that ends the, the list of initiatives. Um, I do wanna talk about uh, elections. Um, so we're gonna follow the same thing we did in um, earlier this earlier this year uh, we need to fill two sig leadership positions my position um and uh, and uh, my, my co-leads position um nominations will be accepted again via google form um and i, I plan to circulate that tomorrow on the 10th and we'll we'll leave that open till about the uh the the, the 14th of august noon eastern um 
And um, where you can suggest anybody, suggest yourself, suggest someone you know, um, preferably someone you've, if, if, I, if you're going to suggest someone else um, and you know them personally, uh, uh, see if they'd be willing to do it. I think uh, you know, a, a, a request from someone you know is better from, than a request from someone you don't know. And for me to go cold calling people I don't know, um, asking if they'd be willing to, uh, to participate, I think it would come, uh, come across better if you have a personal, if you have a personal connection. Um, but if you don't, feel free to name a name. Um, and we'll reach out to everybody we can. We'll, we'll need a, a name and an email address, um, a, a, obviously a way to contact those individuals, and we'll follow up with those candidates to confirm their willingness to, uh, to be on the ballot. If we have more than two people willing to serve, um, we will hold an election uh, beginning the 18th of August, um, and we'll run that till Friday the following, uh, sorry, the following Monday, the 21st of August. Um, and so run it over a weekend. That seems to work well. We got a lot of responses last time. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll pick the top two by popular vote. Um, obviously not scientific. <laughs> we encourage you to vote once. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, notify the, uh, and, and post that, we'll notify the society of the, uh, the election outcome. And it'll go up on, uh, on our page and, and, and we'll carry forward. Um, all right, so as, you, as you've been hearing throughout the presentation, we need your help. Um, these projects are, are designed to scale, and we have several volunteers, and we want to thank our volunteers for their help and support. Um, they need reinforcements. Um, we, 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 need, we need more people to, 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 to step in and, uh, and, and, and engage and, and help. If there's something that you've seen here today that's of interest, or if you say, you know what, I, I like that, but I think we should go in this direction, um, it, it, please uh, let us know. Um, join the calls. We're, we're trying to we're trying to set up initiative focused um, meetings that occur on a, on a monthly basis, or maybe even you know once or twice or every other month. Whatever works for the schedule of those who are willing to contribute, um, such that uh, we can we can break the problem up into little bits. And and the the way these meetings run, um, we have a list of uh, of uh, the objective for the initiative, and we have the list of action items by individual. And we just work that list. And, and we discussed that list. And you know, have you been able to make progress this week uh, or this month? And you know, you know, no is a perfectly acceptable answer. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, we're just the, the the willingness and the intent is is what we're after. And and if you can execute, that's great. Um, and we're more than willing to take whatever time that uh, that you have available and, and put it to use as best we can. Um, and I'm trying to and and I will do my best to to help orchestrate that. Um, uh, as well, if you if you continue to um, uh, if uh, yeah, as the case may be. Um, so next, um, so how do you, how do you volunteer? Um, so systemsdynamics.org/business. The 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 SIGs, um, the the SIGs page, the one that I showed right up here. Um, you can volunteer. So how to contribute? Um, a little bit more about our process, and we have a form. Go ahead and fill that form out um, and to collect some basic information and we'll be in contact with uh, with you at that point. Um, and uh, if you prefer the old fashioned email, um, Matthew Bigman has graciously uh, donated his time to, to coordinating these volunteer efforts. Um, and uh, he, you can reach him via the email on the screen. Um, if you can't join the, 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 the meetings that we hold um, in person, we do record them. We put them up on, on, um, on Google Drive. And uh, we have notes available as well. So um, we're, we're, we're happy to work asynchronously as well. Um, we don't have to get everybody in the same room at the same time in order to proceed. Um, we're trying to be as, uh, as, as efficient and effective as possible. Um, so how to contest, contact us, um, business uh, at sigs.systemsdynamics.org. That email works. It routes all the way through us. We have a LinkedIn group. Please join the conversation, public discussion. Um, and for more, obviously, our, our website here. So with that, I'm going to uh, take a look quick through the, uh, the live chat. Please feel free to um, ask any questions. We've got about eight minutes left here. Um, so uh, Gene is asking, are, are the meetings in person or on the web? These meetings are all web-based um, for the most part. We, 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 apart from the conference, um, that was pretty much our, our, our only physical meeting. Uh, our, our groups are um, geographically and globally distributed. Uh, we try to find a time where it's, it's convenient for, for everybody. Um, but that is a challenge, um, and so the web provides a nice a nice format where even if you can't join live, you can at least catch up on the video and um, and and the like. All 
All right. I'll leave it open here for a few more minutes. Uh, Kim, do you have anything that uh, I'll give you the opportunity to share the floor here if you have anything? Otherwise, uh, we'll, we'll close it up for about five minutes here. I just, just only to invite anyone with suggestions uh, at this point to uh, don't hold back. <laughs> let's, uh, let's have them. If you like this format, um, please please do let us know. Um, we, we appreciate feedback, um, and uh, we're, we're happy to to adjust. Um, let's see. So um, Elliot has has mentioned that Capitol Hill might be, um, as as Kim mentioned, might be willing to. Uh, to help with video and marketing support. So um, as we as, as we are introduced to the management team and to the the the, the, the team that executes on those on those portions of the offering, uh, we'll, we'll be sure. Um, and and Elliot, I know you're you're involved uh, to, to 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 some extent in that. Um, uh, please please feel feel free to share any contacts that you may be aware of, um, or anyone else on the call may be aware of. Um, and uh, and uh, so. Elliot's saying here that Roberta is the best point to contact, so um, we will we'll basically uh, we'll reach out to her through our through our normal channels. Um, so uh, dftd.tv um, is uh, is asking: Are people willing to review draft models for others? I'm working on applying SD to an ISO standard. Um, yes, I think so. As a, as a, um, we're we're happy to take the, uh, the the request on on the wire. Um, I think this is one of the things that the the Systems Dynamics Exchange is um, w was designed to what we're hoping um, to produce as one of the the, the key benefits is a, is a is a place for people to discuss models and a community willing to to engage and and look at models on a variety uh, at a variety of le levels of finish. Um, to provide uh, to support to provide support to practitioners at all levels, and 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 as we as, as we work with um, the management group to uh, to to integrate with their systems and to to, to leverage those, um, we're hoping to find high degree of overlap. But where we where that where we're deficient, um, we have other ways of uh, of accomplishing the goal. So yes, that's very much in um, in in our our roadmap. Um, if you need support immediately, um, feel free to put it up on the LinkedIn group um, or email us and, um, and we'll discuss it and see if we can um, provide you with resources or, or maybe even set up a, a Google group that's just, um, so that's just inter people who are interested in reviewing models. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, and, and create that forum, um, that, that ecosystem for that. Um, let's see, next question here. So, Seth, people should simply uh, throw in requests like that to to the LinkedIn group, and uh, we'll we'll keep an eye on whether they've got a reply or, or not, and if they haven't, make sure that they actually do get a reply from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that I think that makes a, a lot of sense there. Um, and if there and if we're if 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 we need to create a subgroup that is just, hey, I'm willing to to volunteer and uh, and. Um, a, I, I'm willing to volunteer my time to look at models, and we've got you know ten people, or you know, kind of a, a collection of individuals who are willing to do so. Um, that might be uh, that might be the next step. But yes, for, as as for today, if you've got something you want to share, put it up on the LinkedIn group, and, and we'll see what uh, we'll see what we can get. Um, so as for as for Iceland, I'm hoping that um, it, well, this is the first time we we've, we've tried running our our annual meeting as as web only. Um, previous to this, we've done it all in person in in meet space within the um, at the conference. And the one takeaway that I personally have have observed is, uh, um, for whatever reason, we've we've been up against some stiff competition <laughs> in, in 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 with the conference. And uh, this past uh, this past year, we were up against lunch. Um, the previous year that I attended in Cambridge, we were up against uh, the, well the morning. Um, we were the, the, the first uh, parallel of the day, um, and, uh, and 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 as such, it's a it's a lot to ask people who are already stretched beyond their beyond their ability to take it all in, to um, to to decide between you know uh, our, our our efforts and our groups and. Uh, and the, the the five other competing parallels that occur at the same time. So we felt it best to 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 try and do this virtually. Um, and this is this is a prototype. Let me know how 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 this works. Um, thank you. We we started to see some feedback come through on chat. Um, 
and we want to make sure that um, it, it, we reach the widest audience. And I think being able to to, to schedule it post fact and to take it when um, to to kind of take a beat after the conference and but still leverage that uh, that excitement uh, from those who were able to attend and kind of bring the bring the rest of the the, the, the greater systems dynamics community who who wasn't able to attend bring that into the fold and kind of share with them that 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 excitement um, you know a couple weeks later I think uh, personally I like it um, I'll, I'll wait for the feedback from 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 the audience from 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 the constituents here please do l let us know again um, and and so if, if if that works well I think we'll do that again um, for for Iceland. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to attend in in, in Iceland. Um, we we haven't. Uh, it's something I'd like to do, but we haven't uh, we haven't quite decided yet. Um, obviously, it's a year away. Um, but uh, yeah, so we can go either way on that, and uh, and we'll 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 have a discussion um, leading up to the conference as to, as to where we meet. If there is interest in in in, in public meetups um, outside of the conference or, um, or or whatnot for for those who are in geographic areas, we're happy to to support that um, that and uh, and kind of facilitate those those discussions. Um, as best we can. So, um, if there's interest, happy to make it an initiative, um, or, or happy to discuss it as part of our our, our operational um, our operational um, proceedings. Um, next question here: um, standards X mile. Uh, we haven't, at least I personally, am not aware of uh, of the the BSIG engaging in that discussion. Obviously, it's it's a very interesting topic and something that we'd like to 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 support. But as far as taking it on as a specific initiative. Um, we haven't we haven't done so or participated. Uh, we do encourage our members uh, to to do so. I think it's something that is absolutely important um, in in the growth and adoption of systems dynamics. Um, telling you know problem owners that you know, you know the model was developed in this and you must buy this software at this price um, and we we can't carry it from one software package to the next um, seems like a, a technical hurl, hurdle that uh, that should be solved um, and is solved in other parallel disciplines. Um, and so we're, we're happy to, to, to throw our support um, uh, on that, but we haven't engaged in a, in a, in a specific manner. But we, we absolutely do, I, I personally do support the, the effort to develop that and uh, implement that standard. Um, let's see. Gene, uh, could you clarify? So Gene Bellinger is asking, "Where's the best place to post the request?" Could you could you clarify that uh, what you mean there? And and we'll we'll, we'll discuss that in a moment. Um, I GF, uh, TG He's uh, preparing yes. to uh, to request for some models. Ah, uh, okay. Um, thank you. I think, I think we've already dealt with uh, suggesting that we use the LinkedIn group, but yes. if that if that's not correct, Gene, uh, just uh, follow up and put us right. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad uh, I got Kim sitting co-chair here with me, um, and uh, to keep uh, keep track of when these requests come in, the, these notes come in. Um, so, uh, gftg.tv asks Elliot, "Have you been involved in ISO standards before?" Um, I'll leave Elliot to to reply, and I'll relay that if you guys can't see uh, can't see the responses. Um, please let me do, know if you guys are seeing the live chat from from everybody. I know we see everything. I'm not sure if you guys uh, see the conversation that's ongoing. Um, all right, um, and we're at the top of the hour, so I want to respect uh, the the time that you've committed to this. Um, Kim, any any passing thoughts here before we close out? No, just to get out and uh, grab all your friends and get them involved. Excellent, excellent. And on that note, um, we'll be back. Um, please, uh, please do keep uh, keep an eye on the email. And uh, this this meeting right now uh, is live on YouTube. The link, if you want to share it with other practitioners, um, is the same link. So um, it is available um, for for review in perpetuity. We're not planning to take it down um, at any point. So um, you're you're welcome to 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 watch and share that with anybody else, and um, and, uh, and 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 go from there. Um, all righty. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, uh, Seth, for organizing this. Take care. You're welcome. All right.